I want to highlight about the workload reduction language we're proposing. And in housekeeping, we distributed a report based on uh, surveys of our housekeepers. While the companies are making record profits, room rates are 30% higher than they were before the pandemic. In addition to these resort fees that companies are charging, some companies are not cleaning rooms daily, or they may say they're not available to clean rooms daily as needed. Mostly women, women of color, moms and single moms that are are doing this incredibly difficult job. This report highlights this issue of excessive workload, of challenging working conditions, just the overall cost of pain and injury, and just specifically that three of four GRAs regularly report that they take pain medication to get through the day. And there's a injury rate that is significant in this job classification. This workload reduction, especially that's been accelerated since the pandemic, has been a significant issue on the bargaining table that we are not near a resolution at this time. We have three negotiating committee members that are here to talk about uh, their issues that uh, are important to them in these negotiations. After the pandemic, yeah, it's more difficult for everybody, for especially for housekeepers. Every day we take medicine because our body's pain. After work, we can do anything. Just we want to go to the bed and we don't have time to enjoy our grandkids or our kids. And, and we need more security for everybody. Safety has been an issue and a concern with me, especially since they've um, installed the smart tenders in the service bars. My workload, has increased. I feel like the service has been delayed to the customers, the guests, preparing and getting the drinks ready for the guests that are in the casino. My main concern about this contract is the workload. Also, we are asking for uh, wage increases. We're not asking for a lot. We're just asking for our fair share and also to protect our benefits for our families. If we don't get some kind of indication from the large companies, MGM Resorts, Caesars Entertainment, and Wynn Resorts, that we're going to make some kind of progress, then there could be a strike 